definitely think that part of this package is worth it. Now, this steering with the Z, this was something that I was concerned about when I, you know, first got in the new Z because the car that I filmed had- Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Nissan Z. This one has the six speed manual. First and foremost, so I do wanna mention that I have a comparison coming up pretty soon with this compared to the Toyota Supra. So if you're not subscribed already, I'd recommend subscribing so you guys can see that comparison as soon as I post it. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So under the hood of this Z, we have a twin turbo three liter V6 that goes through a six speed manual transmission. Power outputs are 400 horsepower and then 350 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy hasn't been released yet, but I'm guessing it's gonna be somewhere in the high teens to low twenties combined. Again, that's just the Ben Hardy guess, so take that for what it is. And I love how you've got like the bracing under the hood and everything and just a cool display overall. Now let's go to the front end of the Z. First off, this one is of course uh, beautiful. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, you've got this distinctive line here in the center of the hood that kind of goes off to either side. It looks like a Y. And again, it just gives the Z a pretty cool look. And in the blue, it pops quite a bit. Now I've got the Z's distinctive daytime running lights here with the headlights, super bright. Love the look of those. We've got the new Nissan logo with the white print. And you guys can see the grill here down below with the parking sensors. Again, pretty distinct. You've got a sensor there at the very bottom. And then you can see here with the kind of like little divot there. But overall, they've kept the design of the new Z uh, just really clean overall so that it just has this nice, beautiful, clean, sporty aesthetic. So coming on the side here, we've got two 55 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front and then two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the back. So this is the performance model. So it does come with upgraded brakes. That's one of the big benefits to going for the performance version of the Z. And notice how the calipers are red, which I love the contrast between like red calipers and a blue painted car. I think it's just such a cool appearance. And then notice here with the bodywork and how that kind of goes into like a little side skirt there. We've got the blacked out mirrors and then the blacked out roof because this one has the two-tone design. If you get the sport version of the Z, I believe it's just monotone. The two-tone is definitely the way to go because it just looks so cool. And I love that distinctive silver line and then obviously the Z logo on the side. Yeah, just great. Now we have the biggest sleeper key fob in the car industry because, well, it's Nissan's regular key fob, which looks great. You got the new Nissan logo there, lock and unlock, but there's nothing to signify that this is a Z from a key fob perspective. And so, yeah, I, I don't know. I like stuff like that. Anyways, coming here to the back, you have a little button right here at the bottom of the Nissan logo that you press, and that is actually what lets you pop open the rear hatch. Now, just like other sports cars, you've got a pretty high loading floor here, but because it's a hatch, it's actually pretty easy to load stuff into the rear overall. And I love the little crossbar there. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, pretty simple setup. And then when you're all done, just pop it back down into place. Let's finish things up with the rest of the rear of the Z. So first off, you guys can kind of see the bubble design there on the roof here from the rear end. We've got the signature taillights here that have that cool retro styling. And then notice with the exhaust tips here in the rear, and then you've got the blacked out diffuser as well. And then, you know, new Nissan logo, you got another Z logo right there. Um, but again, overall, the styling's pretty, you know, I guess understated is the best way to put it, which I really like. Again, it has this beautiful, sleek design to it, but it's not like way out there and way flashy and all that kind of stuff. First off, sorry about my shadow. Second off, I love the keyless entry function here. So it kind of popped down here. This is what you press to lock or unlock the car. I don't know, it feels special to me, it's cool. Now going over the door panel with the Z, you've got some like soft touch here at the top, but you can see down below with the Alcantara and then the leather looks really cool. Got your window controls here, which are automatic for the front two windows and well, because it's a two door car, you only have front windows. Do have blind spot monitoring, that's another thing to mention. And then here are the seats. So again, you can see the mix between the leather and look at the inserts here. I love the look of these seats. The bolstering's really aggressive on the seats. They're very comfortable and they just look great. You got some adjustments here on the seats and then you got the rest of the adjustments there in the center. We have a three pedal layout. Look how nice those pedals look with the Z. Stability control just up above and let's pop in. Now 
Now here is the steering wheel for the Z. Really nice material use all around the steering wheel. You can see the stitching there in the center portion. Got our Z logo there, front and center. This does have adaptive cruise control with a manual transmission, which is crazy. We got our volume controls right here, turn signal light stock. We got our windshield wiper stock. And yeah, overall, I love the design of the steering wheel. Here is the center gauge cluster. I think it looks so cool with the whole digital layout. Now notice I can scroll through some different menus to see different bits of info. I've just had it set here to show me the boost because it's cool to see like this go up as I'm accelerating. It's just, again, it's like just part of like the experience of the new Z. Um, but yeah, cool looking setup overall. Well, if the boost gauge in the center gauge cluster wasn't enough for you, you have another one here up top and then you got a couple other gauges, you know, that kind of like, again, retro theme here, having gauges on the dash, it's cool. Now here's the infotainment system. I like the place that they have it here in the dash because you're not gonna have a massive amount of glare. There's still a little bit, um, but it's better than when you have an infotainment system like on the top of the dash. But anyways, popping it into reverse, which I do wanna talk about reverse a little bit later. You've got a backup camera, what's your directory lines that turn to the steering wheel? You guys remember we also have parking sensors as well. And then you can see here with the infotainment system, this is Nissan's modern infotainment system. So it's got like Bluetooth, uh, response time on it, solid, it's easy to use. You've got shortcut buttons here at the bottom to go to different pages. Um, so overall, it's great. Now down below you guys can see the climate control, single zone climate, got some USBs and then you can see the storage space right there. And then notice here with the material use on the dash and the stitching and then it is soft touch here at the very top. We have our stop start button and then we have our S mode button. This does have rev match function with the manual transmission. Now I love the feel of the shifter and we'll kind of talk about this more with the driving portion of the car. The one thing I don't like is the reverse lockout. So like you push it down and then go over but half the time like that's not reverse you have to like push it down and then really push it over and then you're in reverse and so i find myself constantly accidentally going into six gear and i don't release the clutch because obviously i know i'm not in reverse because it's easy to tell the difference it's just slight annoyance not a huge deal though anyways heated seats and then you can see here for the trunk popper got the brake and then you can see here with the cup holder situation and you can slide this over it's kind of interesting but opening up the center console, storage space is solid, and it has a center console. It's important. Um, glove box, pretty normal, as you guys can see. And then popping up top, you guys can see here with that bubble design that helps up with giving, helps out rather with giving a little bit of extra headroom. So I don't normally show this stuff on the channel, but I just wanted to give you guys this as the disclaimer that Nissan sent to me. Basically, he just says this is a pre-production car, and so it's not a full representation of what you guys will see at dealerships. And of course you guys know that I work with a Nissan dealership here locally, the Tim Daly Nissan and Murray. And so once they get their first Z, I'll review it so you guys can see a full production car. Um, but anyways, here is the pricing. So you guys can see base price on this package, $49,990. Okay, again, this has the performance package. It does have a few options added to it. You guys can see here at the very bottom, including the two-tone paint but $53,210 is the total price. Now, again, this is the performance version. There is a version that is just below this. It's called like the Sport or something like that. And it's gonna be less expensive than this, but this is still less expensive than the Supra, fully loaded, which is pretty cool. Anyways, let's take it out for a fun drive. So let's talk about visibility before we set off here with the Z. We've got the visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And random point before we set off, I love this vent here on the side with the doors. It helps out with keeping cool so well, especially when it's super hot. Anyways, let's set off. Okay, so we are setting off in the new Z. Now this might seem like a strange road for me to pick because this road is not very well maintained, but I think that's a perfect road to test the new Z so we can really see how the suspension does when it's kind of, you know, pushed to the limits in terms of comfort and everything on a road that's not perfect, right? We're not on a perfect, you know, racetrack, right, for example. And we've got some tight twisties and everything. And so this is, I think this is, you know, what someone would want to do with this car on the weekend, for example, because it's just fun. It's just such a fun little uh, driving route, basically. Um, but you know, first off, just kind of like lightly getting into it, not doing anything too crazy. 
this car is so comfortable. Um, I've been daily driving this car and I can tell you it is such a great daily driver. Uh, the automatic obviously will be a little bit more daily drive drivable than the manual because you don't have to shift gears yourself, right? Especially in tons of traffic, that's nice. But with the rev match function, frankly, it's just fixed any complaints I would have with daily driving a manual, basically. Um, because, you know, in high traffic situations, it does the rev matching for me. You guys can see this road's a bumpy. It does the rev matching for me. And so it's just, it's just such a super easy experience. And yeah, I, I think that they've done a really good job with this manual. And I would definitely, you know, I'd go for the manual, even if I was doing long commutes and everything. And you guys know I have super, super long commutes. You guys can see the road gets <laughs> pretty, pretty tight here. Um, so yeah, I, I think that, I think they've done a good job with that. Now, in terms of the fun stuff, right? The, the sports car side of the Z. Uh, first off, braking is fantastic. So on top of having really good pedal modulation, um, they just, they just bite just the perfect amount. Like it's, it's really good from a stopping power perspective. And I'll show you guys right here. So we'll kind of get up and move. And then let's say I had to stop. Like, and that wasn't even like fully into the brake. My backpack just fl flew forward. But the point that I'm trying to make is with the performance package, getting these upgraded brakes, it, it's great. Definitely think that part of this package is worth it. Now, this steering with the Z, this was something that I was concerned about when I, you know, first got in the new Z because the car that I filmed had really light steering. But I can tell you, there's actually quite a bit of feedback with the steering. Uh, it still is light, it's not super heavy, but it's just point and shoot pretty much with the Z. It's really good in terms of the feel. And just look how well the suspension and the chassis, like that was a pretty big bump there. And here's another one, boom, stays flat on the ground. This car is so well set up. Nissan has just worked some magic with this car, let me tell you. And it's, <laughs> it's fast. It is so fast. But it's, it's like the perfect amount of power where you can have fun, but you don't feel like you're gonna like kill yourself. I know that seems crazy to say, but you know, a lot of modern cars now, they've been going so overboard with the power. This is the perfect amount of power where you can still have fun, but it's, you know, like I said, it's, it's not gonna rip your head off. And the suspension is so well composed, especially over big bumps. It's just, it's just phenomenal. So I know it's, you know, kind of a short drive, but again, this is, you know, my normal short driving review on a car. Uh, so here's what I have to say about the new Z. I think that it is a great daily driver car. If you do plan on daily driving this, you can absolutely uh, do that. It has all the stuff that you'd need to be able to daily drive a car. And then aside from the daily driver side of things, you know, from a weekend car perspective, from a fun car perspective, the power is just amazing, especially on road. Like it's more than enough power. Like it, it, it gets your heart racing, right? It's, it's a fun experience. The driving dynamics are amazing. The suspension is so composed. You guys saw off that road. I'm actually gonna continue to use that road probably for future videos. Cause that's a really good road to just show the suspension of a sports car like this at higher speeds, uh, you know, on like a twisty road like that. Um, but yeah, they, Nissan just has done such a good job with this car and all the comments about, you know, the weight of the car and the power figures of the car and everything, just throw those aside. Okay. Go and drive one and you'll understand what I'm saying. It is so fun. But what I'm trying to say is it's hard for me to find faults in this car. They've priced it right. They've given it the perfect amount of power where it's usable, it feels fast, and it's just, it's very well balanced. They, they've just done everything right with this car. Basically, and you guys will see when we do the comparison with the, with the Supra, all of my complaints about the Supra were kind of fixed with the new Z. It really feels like Nissan like went and drove a bunch of Supras and they're like, okay, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is what we need to fix. <laughs> and, and, then they, and then they basically put that into the new Z. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan. Like if I was in the market for a sports car in today's world, you know, brand new sports car, you know, you have like Mazda Miata, Toyota 86, Toyota Supra, all that kind of stuff. I would get the Z from a value perspective and you know, just straight out of the box, I love the driving dynamics. 
Now that's kind of something's up for our video on the new Nissan Z. I'm really interested to hear what your guys' thoughts are on the Z after our whole review and drive. And then with that being said, I will see all of you in that next video.